Happy Mother's Day. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki. And did you know that while for centuries various nations and peoples have celebrated a day in honor of their mothers, it was President Woodrow Wilson in 1914 who declared that the second Sunday of May should be celebrated as Mother's Day. Here's part of his official proclamation. I do hereby direct the government officials to display the United States flag on all government buildings and to invite the people of the United States to display the flag at their homes or other suitable places on the second Sunday in May as a public expression of our love and reverence for the mothers of our country. You know, if you think about it, what President Wilson did was to ask the nation to practice one of the Ten Commandments, honor your father and your mother. So while we celebrate our mothers this day and honor them, we should do so not only today, but every day. Jesus himself did this, even with his dying breath. Remember the story from John's Gospel? It goes like this. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. Jesus honored and cared for his mother even as he was dying on the cross. He gave her to John and to all of us. He gave to us his mother to be our mother. May we take her into our homes and hearts as well. Father James Kubicki is the National Director of the Apostleship of Prayer. For prayer resources and to learn more about the Apostleship of Prayer, visit their website at apostleshipofprayer.org.